Hi everyone, it's Irene and I have a little project I'd like to share with you today. This is one of my DT projects for um, Divine Laces and Shan is the owner and she's on Zibit and it's Divine Laces and on YouTube she's known as Shabby Little Angel. Go on and check her out and see what she's got to offer but she's got some really pretty laces at her shop and you need to check those out if you can. And this is some of the laces I used on my project I'm about to show you. Super pretty, this is very soft, very fun to play with. And I only have a couple of these pieces left here, which is like a daisy-like um, trim. And then this is one of my favorites. I think I used this. No, I did not use this one. And I don't have much left. But now, let me show you some of the things. Uh, everything I used is already on the project. Okay. So here's one of my stick pin cushion clutch holders that I made. This came from her shop, and this is the last of it right here. I added some flat back pearls in the middle. I got this from um, Gisela's shop, and then this came from Divine Laces here from Shan's shop. I added some lace here on the back for my stash, and then here on the bottom. This is the back. This came from Divine Laces, which is really pretty. And then uh, I added some really pretty pearls here. Very nice. And as I open it, I put a Velcro closure on it. And this is just a little stick pin holder some of my stick pins that I've made added some ribbon to my stick pins here and then these are really pretty and on top here is the extra stick pins for my friend to use if she wishes but this is just a little cute the stick pin holder that I enjoyed making for her and hope she likes it and then here's another one that I made I made my own little felt bow here really pretty use some buttons I got from Marla hi Marla she sent me some uh, buttons in a recent rack, which was wonderful. Thank you so much, Marla. I love using those. And some lace from my stash, and same here. This is the back. Made it really simple, but it's pretty. And this is not done yet. I haven't uh, put in the extras and the stick pins yet. i got to go out and make those. But this is just a really fun little keeper. Um, and very pretty just to sit on the table and enjoy. And then the other thing I made was I'm doing a wedding this coming Saturday. Yep, crazy me with everything that's going on. I offered to do a wedding for a friend. And this is a beautiful brooch bouquet. And the brooches were gifted by grandmas and aunts. This one right here. This one came from a grandma. This came from an aunt. And then I added some of my bling. This came from a sister of hers. This came from her mother. Isn't that pretty? But I made this brooch bouquet, and it was really fun to create for her. And hopefully she likes this. She'll be using this in her wedding this coming Saturday. So life has been pretty crazy around here. But this was really fun to make for her, and I hope she likes it. Look at the beautiful earrings her mom gifted for this brooch bouquet. Really pretty, guys, and uh, really fun to make. It just it, it takes a long t time to make them because it takes a lot of work cutting and, and, and winding up and all that. But other than that, really pretty. So thanks everyone for stopping by and checking out my projects. Hoping everybody's having a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.